Hey, sometimes I'll get uh, questions about adding content to the website and concerns that it's uh, difficult. And I, I'm just going to show a typical way of adding content uh, so that you're not necessarily using PDFs or um, PowerPoints or anything like that um, so that you can have the content that's searchable by Google. So we have a website and this particular website has a news section but also one for the pastor um, Pastor Rick Friday morning musings and I had agreed to add them as they came into my email inbox. So he uses a newsletter uh, type uh, email that sends this out but it could just be your written sermon or um, your thoughts sort of as a blog and I'm just going to show you how to add it to the website so we're logged into the website and if it's a list layout like this you'll just click the new button and start typing the title we'll just have to change the the date to May 4th and this is going to be mostly done with copy and paste. Uh, there's a couple of tricks that might be useful that I'll show you too. Um, I think the formatting is probably decent in Gmail, but sometimes in Word you will uh, get formatting that is a little messed up. So let's see. So you paste it in there. I think that that might have some formatting, so just select all. I don't know if we can select all with the right click. If not, you use the keys or just highlight it all. And we're going to use the little eraser here. Um, sometimes it'll just say remove formatting in the editor. You're just looking for something that does this. and it looks like it didn't really change anything so that's good in a lot of ways you don't have to change very much um, but if you're copying pasting from Word a lot of times it'll add some formatting in so um, you might want to use this and then make sure that it all holds up once it's um, written in the, in the page this way alright so Technically, that's all you'd have to do: change the the date and uh, and publish it. I add a tag to it because I had set up a tag system. It um, didn't end up using it the same way I was thinking, but it has the tags. And you can also add metadata. So here, you you would have like the search description for Google. Um, Let's see. Maybe the day when I couldn't pray. Oops. So we're copying that. Now we're going to put it there. And now we can, I didn't read the whole article yet, but we can guess at some of the keywords. And these are not totally necessary once Google indexes it. Um, but you can look for some words that maybe would be important in the article and words that would be important for people searching for the article. try it. You can do maybe 10 if you want. I wouldn't bother to do any more than that. I think you can hurt yourself if you do too many. And I'll just go with one. One more that I saw. There. So now we have the content. It's in the right category already because I clicked new so it's going to be in the, the right place. And all the content is there. 
Um, obviously we could add images and things like that, but a lot of this is about getting the text seen. So we're just going to save it. The article is submitted. Now you can also, um, if, if you have control of your webmaster tools or Google Analytics or something like that, you can submit it to Google. Um, usually, for my websites, I, I just use a system that eventually gets them um, in the sitemap. Google will index it. It might take a little bit longer, so if it's something that you really need indexed, um, if you're one of my clients, you contact me, say, you know, this needs to be seen by Google right away, and I can index it, or just wait, and it will eventually start getting the hits. So um, that's all there is. Here, let's take a look. So we have the tag. It doesn't show up great in this uh, template, but it looks okay. And it's mostly about the content. So there we have the whole article. It looks just like it would in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Um, now if you're doing PDFs, uh, something like that, you know, a lot of times I'll uh, recommend, let's see if we have, I think under resources, yeah, here, this is Google um, Drive, and those are just files that are uploaded to Google Drive, and then people can download them. The problem is that that's not searchable by Google. It's hosted by Google, but um, so that's good in some ways, but it's not searchable on your website. So um, something like your news section or your um, sermon section, you'll want to have it searchable um, and indexed and archived. So this one has them back for the last year since I took over the, the website. And uh, that will continue to go up in hits. People will see it. People will know about your church, what you write about, what you do, if it's news or events. And it will um, continue to drive traffic to the website and hopefully to the church. All right, so this is LutherNet, Brave New Church, giving a short description of just adding some content. Um, daily would be great. Weekly is is um, very good, and that's what we're looking for with most of the churches that I design for. Thanks.